Hello everyone. So today we will have a look at a very basic requirement. So we have this uh, Microsoft form and we want our users to respond to it. And users could be internal or some external users as well. Those who are not a part of our tendency. Yes, you can share the form with them. Yeah, people in my organization can respond or you can just select anyone can uh, respond. And then you just copy this URL, just send it to them in an email. And even if they are not a part of your domain, not a part of your organization, they can still respond to it. So now my my problem is, say, everyone has responded to this. Now, how do I get to see all the responses? Yes, we can have all the responses connected to with uh, connected with an Excel. But does that always serve the purpose? Probably not. You would want to contain all the responses into a SharePoint list just so you can run some more workflows on it, can run some business rules on it. Uh, there are endless possibilities once the information is captured into SharePoint list. So how do you go about it? Forms by default doesn't feed information into SharePoint list. No, it just don't. But can you uh, can you sort of still work it out? Can Are there any options to do that? Yes, there are some options to actually get around that. First thing, if you want to contain all the responses into a SharePoint list, you need to create a SharePoint list. So I've just created a SharePoint list called issues and I have just added these two columns, issue description and severity. As you can see, those two are available over here as well, issue description and severity. Yeah, with the same options, I have just created this one as well. Uh, now we just need to create one Power Automate flow so we can capture all these form form uh, responses and feed into this list. Now I'll just show you how do we go about it. We go to Power Automate, we go to Templates, and then over there we'll just search for a template called Forms and SharePoint. Just gonna hit enter. Record form responses in SharePoint. That's the one you need. Record form responses in SharePoint. Just click on it. Yeah, just gonna click on continue here. Just make sure all the connections are done. Gonna click on OK, continue. Now here you need to pick up a form ID. Click on this, and then you should be able to see. Or I'm just gonna type in issues register. As you can see, that's the name of our form as well. As you can see, issue register. Now list of responses or apply to each and every response and get that response that's it now you need to specify where you need to sort of feed in that information just gonna select the site I'm gonna select that list just this one now here in the title i can put in some information because this is a mandatory field we can put in some information in there like uh not applicable because we did not get our users to sort of give us this information but in issue, issue description we can add issue description so see that this issue description is coming in from form you have a form icon over there you select that severity value is going to come in or you can do custom value and over there you can select severity value whatever the user is setting it up at the time of form submission you just do that that's it now it's all done if you want to send an email that a new item has been added you can always do that just click on save now it's all done yeah it's all saved and it's over here yeah got it now I'm just going to enter an information test one the market is important I'm gonna hit submit okay my information is submitted now we'll come to forms see it has succeeded now it should feed in the information 
into SharePoint. You see that? It has come through. This is where it is. Just test one, important. So that's how you do it. You create a form. In that form, whatever fields you have, you just try to replicate all the items into a SharePoint list. You just create one mention all the fields in its dedicated column and ensure you select the right uh, field type as well like for example here I've chosen um, choice I can use choice over here as well even if I want to do anything over here even if I'm going to use a single line of text it should still be okay because information will still be fed into it as a form of a text however it's recommended to just use the same sort of fields to avoid any further issues because later on if you would want to use the native form of the SharePoint list you can do that as well um, and once you do anyway so when you just uh, replicate the fields recreate the list with the similar fields uh, field types then you go back to forms you create a form with the data with the basic template I just shown you before and then you just have to enter update these fields that's it nothing too fancy so I hope it was helpful. Uh, uh, this is just a little hypothetical example. Main business use case is going to be much bigger than what I have shown you over here. The real world scenarios are much more challenging. Uh, it's just uh, one hypothetical example to showcase how you can capture stuff in forms and feed into SharePoint using Power Automate. So that's all was the purpose of this bit. Thanks. Thanks for your time. Thanks for watching. Please feel free to hit subscribe, like, or comment if you have any questions. Thanks, and you guys have a great day. Thanks for watching. Bye.